what's up scrappy peeps it's Del from Mickey Quill and I've got a little bit of a mixed media process video for you today it's very very basic I'm just using my Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paints and just brushing some strokes along there now there's not many colors in this collection so if you want to know the colors just google search Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paints um, I think the turquoise one is called turquoise the teal one might be called teal it's pretty easy to figure out which one is which and I'm just smooshing it over my basil marshmallow cardstock so I'm doing a multiple photo layout for this one and apparently have disappeared somewhere where have I gone there I am I got too much paint as always I usually get too much paint and this is my use it up journal which if you'd like to see some process videos where I do some art journaling in this little beauty over on my second channel let's get inky you can click the description down below to see those and what this is is it's just a <laughs> sorry if you can hear Aaron in the background are you okay over there Yeah. just just did a bit of a kerfuffle all the can all the containers are attacking Aaron I think in the kitchen while I'm doing the voiceover um I use that little use it up journal just to use up some extra paint and this is a, another piece of cardstock that I'm just smushing some paint on just so that I can use it for next time and have the background already done and not have to get messy or waste all of that delicious paint. So I decided to add some hearty shine because shake 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 your hearty shine shake your hearty shine and just to add a little bit of gold because these photos were from Christmas Day and they're of Aaron's mum and his brothers and us and this layout did stump me a little bit because usually when I do multiple photo layouts that are two four by six photos I do them in the same way every time now if you look at my previous multiple photo layouts you'll notice this especially now that I'm doing a 9 by 12 size and not 12 by 12 there's less room to work with so usually I mat them together on top of each other but I decided not to because previous to this I had filmed on this same day I think three other photo three other layouts that had two photos on them and I did them all the same and I thought nope I'm going to challenge myself and try something different here and I struggled boy did I struggle so I've grabbed a couple of bluey greeny papers from the crepe paper chasing dreams and I matted my photos with some blue tissue paper just to give a bit of texture and I decided to mat them in different papers don't know why just decided to I'm going through the crepe paper snow and cocoa ephemera pack which is very wintry I've said this before but it's very wintry and not very Christmassy which makes me a bit sad um, I really like that little deer which doesn't really scream Christmas to me because it doesn't have antlers don't do all reindeers have antlers I always thought they did maybe they don't but I decided to just go with some colors rather than a Christmassy theme for this one I didn't do December daily like um, this year last year sorry I didn't do December daily for this year that I'm scrapping I tried in 2014 and failed I tried in 2015 and failed so I thought with that record I wasn't going to try again plus I document so much in my project life that it's pretty much a daily a yearly daily rather than a December daily um, so I didn't I didn't use too many Christmassy themed items this year um, and a lot I found that a lot of the Christmas collections this year were very snowflakey very snowy so even though on this day it was quite warm and a beautiful summer day <laughs> I did use a few of these gold snowflakes pretty much just because they were gold and I wanted to use them so I overlapped them on one side and on the other side and look they don't go with the theme really but they're Christmassy aren't they I, I, I guess I knew that I wanted to try and use a white thicker or a white title because I had that empty space in between the two photos um, wasn't sure what I was going to do so I decided to go with the word adventure and then I added 
some other thickers and some tiny little alphabets. Just checking if I can spell the word first. Always check first. You can hack letters to make them suit what you need them to suit, but you need to check that you've got the right letters to hack first. Um, I decided to call it, I think it's Let's Start Our Christmas Adventure, I think, because on that, if you can hear Aaron's playing Clash of Clans next to me, is there anyone else's husbands or yourself or children who play Clash of Clans? I hear that noise all day long. (laughs) Aaron loves it. Um, I decided to call it Let's Start Our Christmas Adventure because we had a busy Christmas day. Now, at this point, I think I was about, might have been about 28 weeks pregnant. I wasn't very well. And we did three Christmases in one day. We did, no, yes, we did three in one day. Started the night before with our friends for dinner or after, no, for drinks and nibbles. And then we had breakfast at one house, morning tea at the next house, lunch at the third house, and then we got home about 5.30. So we do have on our vlog channel, Mr. and Mrs. Rad, um, the link's always in the description below, we do have some epic vlogs of our Christmas. And then the next day on Boxing Day, the 26th of December, we had another family Christmas as well and a birthday dinner for my dad. So it was a big... (laughs) It was a big adventure, definitely. So I'm adding a little bit of journaling down the bottom here. And overall, this isn't my favorite layout of all time. Um, I did struggle with it a lot. And I'll tell you what I'm struggling with at the moment. Large ephemera pieces. I find that the American crafts have grown their ephemera pieces. They seem to have, I don't know, They've, they, do you know what they remind me of? Veruca Salt out of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when she explodes really big. All of the sizes of the pieces are just giant. There's no like teeny tiny little bits. And I am struggling with that quite a lot. So let me. does anyone else agree that ephemera packs these days seem to be big? Like I like it. It's different. It's a new challenge. But I miss having some of the little, little tiny bits. So to make up for the lack of little tiny bits, I'm adding a few little wood veneers here and there and some sequins. And I think I'm pretty much done. Jazz hands, must be done. So this layout didn't take me too long. I did um and ah about it for a long, long time. But overall, I captured the memory. I used a bit of pretty mixed media in the background. Very easy mixed media technique and yeah. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.